King Charles's doctors giving green light to public return a good sign of monarch's health. King Charles's doctors giving the green light to his public return is a good sign of the monarch's health, according to a royal commentator. On Friday, it was announced that the king, 75, will be attending Trooping the Colour on June 15 amid his cancer battle. The monarch's cancer treatment led to uncertainty about whether he would attend the royal event. However, Buckingham Palace confirmed that the king will attend the parade that marks his official birthday. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The palace announced in April that King Charles would be returning to duties following a two-month break from official engagements. Subsequently, the monarch has launched a soft launch into the public view, a royal commentator exclusively claimed to GB News. Gareth Russell, a royal author, said, We know that the king had to receive permission from his doctors to return to public duties. So it's a positive indicator that he's back with a soft launch into the public view. Broadly speaking, all the opinion polls that we have, indicated there's a huge amount of goodwill and support for him and for his candor with his battle with cancer. We've heard him talking to some people during the meet and greets about shared experiences of battling cancer. I think it's been very well received and certainly the king has said he feels as if he's come out of his cage and he's very keen to get back to his public-facing duties. Buckingham Palace announced there will be a state visit to the UK in June, marking another date in the royal calendar for King Charles. They said, in addition, the king and queen will host their majesties the Emperor and Empress of Japan for a state visit in June, at the request of home government. A Buckingham Palace spokesperson confirmed, His Majesty's treatment program will continue, but doctors are sufficiently pleased with the progress made so far that the King is now able to resume a number of public-facing duties. Forthcoming engagements will be adapted where necessary to minimize any risks to His Majesty's continued recovery. Regarding how long cancer treatments will continue, the spokesperson added, It is too early to say, but His Majesty's medical team are very encouraged by the progress made so far and remain positive about the King's continued recovery. Three employees at the London Clinic, where the Princess of Wales stayed for 13 days in January after her abdominal surgery, are facing disciplinary action following a potential breach of data at the hospital. The Princess of Wales was told about the potential data breach as patients are always informed if there are any suspicions that their private medical records have been shared or accessed in an unauthorized manner. The hospital, which also treated King Charles for his cancer treatment, said in March that any of its staff who had attempted to access patient information would face disciplinary steps. However, the case still remains under investigation and police have yet to look into the employees, according to the Mail on Sunday. This delay comes in spite of Health Minister Maria Caulfield announcing in March that officers had been asked to launch a probe. Several sources have told the outlet that if a breach did occur, staff members could have been caught via a decoy tactic used by hospitals that treat VIP guests. Data for the A-listers is often stored under a fake name, with decoy data stored under the real name, a file which is regularly checked by bosses to see if it has been opened and used without permission. Sam Smith, of health data privacy group Med Confidential, said that data breaches are unfortunately common but the investigation process can take a very long time. He said, it's rare that people find out when a data breach has happened, even rarer that they can get the evidence to prove it, and if they do, the process is still very slow, with another source adding that it could take years for any action to be taken. Following the allegations, the chief executive of the London Clinic, Al Russell, issued a statement, there is no place at our hospital for those who intentionally breach the trust of any of our patients or colleagues.